Australia is one of the driest continents on Earth. Many of the watercourses across the country have little or no streamflow data. This lack of data from poorly or ungaged catchments means that there is insufficient information for the design of flood estimates to size hydraulic structures, plan and design infrastructure and undertake environmental studies. Regional Flood Frequency Analysis, or RFFA, is a common technique to derive design flood estimates on these ungaged catchments. This method pools data from similar gauged catchments. The previous methods have not been updated for over 25 years. Measurement and analysis technology has advanced considerably over the last quarter century. In 2008, a project team was formed to update the RFFA methodology. Under the leadership of Artois Rahman, this team has now dramatically transformed the way ungaged catchments are analysed. We need a nationally consistent regional flood frequency estimation technique which can avoid boundary problem and which can be applied in practice uh, with minimum information. The method uses data from over 800 guest catchments in Australia. It is also based on advanced statistical techniques like region of influence approach and Bayesian ZLS regression. The method is not uh, based on any fixed state boundaries, rather it is based on hydrological boundaries. The boundaries are based on hydrologic similarities within the regions, not state boundaries. Which is one of the uh, advantages of this method over the ARR 1987 method. This method is uh, very easy to use uh, because a software has been developed uh, to apply the method. Uh, the user has to uh, provide input of very simple inputs and the output will be obtained automatically uh, using the developed software. This is available via website as well. So the, the new method is easy to apply. Uh, a software has been developed uh, which can be downloaded from the internet. Uh, the users have to provide simple input uh, like the latitude and longitude to define the location of the catchment and catchment area. Uh, this method uh, should be applied to non-critical uh, hydrological analy analysis, for example, culverts or farm dams. Uh, this method should not be used for uh, critical uh, hydro hydrologic structures. Uh, this method can also be used for checking or benchmarking the results from other methods like rainfall runoff modeling. This method can be used uh, more confidently to design uh, hydraulic structures on in rural areas uh, where uh, there is not enough steam flow data to carry out rainfall runoff modeling. Here you can see the web interface. You'll need the location and area of our catchment for the analysis. Here's an example output. 